This is my first game, Will, and uh, if it's just how much money I have, it's only 452. Yeah, that's what it was. This is getting wet because the roof isn't complete on it. Interesting. Okay. Well, I need to finish the roof. Book tab, bottom right. Thank you. Um, it says right here, uh, this is my wealth. So I don't know if this is comparing me against the other factions, or this is all just, no, these buildings, items, creatures, and it looks like this. It's like, I guess, 100,000 or something? It's gone down a little bit. 100 grand. Right now, I guess we're at 103. Thank you for showing me that, my friend. I had no idea. <laughs> That's cool. All right, they're moving. Graves are getting dug. Let's slow it down and see what everybody's doing. The caravan has returned. Dennis is probably going to, uh, I hope he's going to just heal himself. Oh, wait a minute. How did this turn into a prison? This was supposed to be um, medical only. <laughs> there you go, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, go lie down. Go rest. He needs fixed. He's hurt. So Popper Lance is here, and Popper will be fixed. Oh, thank you, Will. So the game scales based on your wealth. That makes sense, Will. Thank you for explaining that. So. If we want to avoid problems, we could, like, throttle our wealth or something. Did they change it, Dylan? Popper is healed. All right. Lance, breathe easy. Popper is fully healed. Now it's just the people that we have to worry about. All right, let's go to architecture and zone. And I want to just go make sure that we're building roofs um, everywhere that we can. Oh, I know, um, Dylan. I don't know why it went like that, but it was not pretty. I was like, wait a minute now. Oh, the... It, it's also not indoors for some reason. No, it says it's indoors. Anyway, yeah, just build a roof. Build roof. Um, what's this? Days strapping. He's wandering around in a psychotic state. Oh, because his wife died. Yeah, so Prissy, um, who was the woman who went on the caravan with us, was strapping's wife. And he's wandering around in, in a bad state. I don't know if I need to knock this man unconscious or just accept it. Now, the nice thing about him is that uh, Strapping is 72 years old. And he's got serious health problems. He has a bad back. He has a prosthetic leg. And he has a brain scar. So, you know, he's an old-timer. I know. He's like mourning the loss of his wife. The other, the only other person in our group who wears a veil, Prissy. All right, this is for Prissy. Uh, where did Prissy go, by the way? Did she get buried? Where's Prissy's body? Uh, I'm not sure. What'd they do with it? Did they leave it? Is it still in the caravan? Like in the saddlebags? 
Yeah, it need, I think her body needs to be unloaded. I think it's in one of these animals. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, my God. Look at this. Inside this animal's saddlebags, there's just a person. Uh, colonist left unburied. Right. And so, Pete, can you... Um, no, I need you to pri prioritize the, the colonist. This should be for our colonist. Human-like corpses. Um, assigned colonist. Yeah, this is for Prissy. So somebody bury her in there. Hurry up. We got problems. Yeah, prioritize burying her, Pete. Caravan arrived. R.I.P. Prissy. You're getting a real nice place by the uh, generator. It's a great question, Lance. So, Plasteel, I believe, is used for, like, really advanced equipment, weapons, armor, and uh, even furniture and accessories. It's like a super lightweight, durable material. I bet you need it for the rocket ship and stuff as well. But I don't know. Oh, it's good for walls too? I think you might be able to make floors out of it, but I'm not sure about that. All right. Very resilient and good bonuses, says Dylan. Oh, cool. Okay. Now, I want to make, um... Hmm. Alright, I've made the orbital trade beacon. I've made the comms console. I've made the ground penetrating scanner. I don't have a long range mineral scanner. Um... But I also don't have enough. Oh, I'm running low on steel. Boy. Who would have thought? I usually have so much. Well, we're going to need to find some more. Hey, Phil. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? Thank you. Uh, we're trying our best here, Phil. We just lost somebody. We gained somebody earlier. We lost somebody. So we're, we're sputting around like 9 or 10. Now, I could try to go through this limestone wall, but I only can imagine what horrors await us in there. I need some more steel. This is granite. That's compacted machinery. This is another marble wall, so... Probably something nightmarish inside there. This is steel. Well, I guess... What more fun could you have than digging into areas that may contain godforsaken ruins or monsters um, this is silver this is gold okay sometimes they'll just be steel like lying around the map that I haven't collected or something like that stuff that's forbidden yeah, this is a steel slag chunk. I mean, you can get steel from this, right? Do you have to process it or something? These are parts of a ship. Hmm. I don't know if somebody can break it down, like at the uh, machining table. Let me see this. You can shred mechs, but I don't know if you can process the steel from a smelter. Thank you, Will. So I need to build a smelter. All right, let's look at that. Um, architecture, production, and electric smelter. Oh, darn. We need steel to do it, though. All right, well, let's, make, let's get a smelter because that's going to save us. So what we need then is um, to just go to architecture, orders, and just set somebody to go mine up here. See how wonderful this plays out. I'm probably going to need to uh, 
call on the military soon on that, but that's okay. Dennis is recovering well. He's going to make it. I think this solar panel probably cost a lot of my steel, but it was cool to build. Okay, and let's see. She's sweeping up the dirt. That looks good. Sweep, sweep, sweep. All right, Selby's so eating. She continues to clean. The base is looking really good. Uh, this sarcophagus has been properly treated. Dennis is okay. And we finished um, fabrication. So build fabrication benches capable of high-tech projects ranging from component assembly to power armor construction. Okay, cool. So now... Let me pause it, and let's look at the research screen together. We just finished fabrication, which, like, took forever. And the question is, now what do we want? Do we want bionic replacements, advanced fabrication, um, pulse-charged munitions, recon armor, but these require advanced components. So I would need to make advanced components um, first, which I don't know if I can make those. Maybe I can make them at the fabrication bench. Okay. I think I'm just going to go for... Uh... Hey, the Patriots, what is up? Good evening. You'd go with Bionics? Hey, Victory, so good to see you, my friend. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Bionic replacements? Okay, good idea. This will help us build better... Yeah, 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 good idea. This is not too hard to research. Okay, thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I said, first time, so I'm just like, okay. Um, all right, so this says... Oh. You now have the technology to build a fabrication bench, but it also requires some advanced components to get started. You can collect them several ways. All Outlander settlements sell them, send a caravan to buy some. Some visiting traders sell advanced components, invite or wait for them. Some quests are rewarded with them. Oh, okay. Not anymore, Will. Uh, I think last stream or a stream before that our doctor died so unfortunately we don't have a good doctor yet but hopefully we can recruit one like i think the best medical person that we have is like it might be level five which is really bad so yeah you're right i don't know if you can practice that or what i need to do to uh have that happen but that's where we're at um, all right, we opened this room up. Great. Dennis is uh, finishing getting rid of these collapsed rocks, and we're going to make this space enclosed eventually. Train your doctor on prisoners. Oh, Thee, you mean like by having them try to remove organs and stuff and perform surgery? <laughs> or just treating their wounds? or causing wounds with surgery and then treating them. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Oh man, this game... This game gets so sinister so fast. Look at this red carpet. It's really nice. Alright, that's um, a very good sniper rifle. So let's give that to somebody else. Um, Pete, what are you using? You have a bolt-action rifle. What's your shooting skill at? Oh, you're crack shot. Pete, get the sniper rifle. Starvation. Strapping. Nah, he's sleeping. He'll he's fine. Alright, um. Okay. Let's see, is anybody using this thing? Nah, we need somebody to go down there. Dude, what are you up to? Making pemmican. No, do this, man. Don't worry about pemmican.
Everybody makes pemmican. That's hilarious, Will. I love how, like, all the grizzled RimWorld vets come in, and they're, like, watching, and they're like, why aren't you harvesting organs yet? And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And like, yeah, you know, on your prisoners. It's just, like, an accepted part of the game. No, Brexio, go do this, dude. Trust me. You can do it. I'm going to have to keep guiding him down here. I think what it is is, like, if I tell someone to do something, if they can't get there fast enough, they're going to change their mind eventually. So I have to just keep telling him because he's so far away. Like, he's on drilling. He's drilling. He's drilling. Let's see if he, he changes his mind. He's drilling. Yep, and he's going to go try to change his mind. I have to come back. I'm like, hey, no, no, come back. Come back. Come back. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And he made it. Now he's going to... Nope. Do it. Don't leave. Do it. There you go. He's on it. It's finally getting there. We're going to get to the... Nope. Come back. Rexio. Stop leaving. Hey, hey. Austin. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I know. This game is awesome, isn't it? No, go back there, dude. Stop. I, I, he, everybody keeps stopping this job. Like, I wonder what it is about why no one wants to finish this. Usually when they, you give people a task, like, they'll do it indefinitely. When you say the roof will collapse on the mountain, do you mean this mountain? Or do you mean over here? <laughs> Again... The, you're being hilarious. It's just like, just imprison him. I love it. Below my base. Oh, this one down here. Thank you. Okay. So, what if I built a, uh, a column? Would this help it? Did it go to console? I didn't see that, Will. Did they, f I knew that they were working on it, but I didn't know that they had finished it. That's awesome. Where you at, dude? He's doing it. Did it finish? Where you? What are you doing now? No, no, no. Just finish the drill. It's so close, dude. Finish it. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's another portion. Oh, he got a big chunk of it. Okay, so... Oh, my God. This is hard to get. It's 10 at a time? Oh, man. I had no idea. Oh, that's brutal. Pemmican production. All right. Strapping is still wandering around psychotically. That's alarming. The horses are mating. How much steel we got? 87. We'll get more. We're almost there. Oh, this is a lot of steel. This is good. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this. I want to get this smelter built. Are up to 159. Great. So the smelter, I think, takes 200. 170. Oh, we're so close. Okay. Now, while we're waiting, can I just talk to you guys about... So I made this room that's cold because um, it's supposed to be... Well, it's, this isn't powered, is it? Um, oh, extreme break risk. Wait, who? Oh, strapping. Oh, he's no longer in his state. Okay, good. So I made this room up here to try to be a morgue, like a cooler just for bodies. Do you need to do anything else special for it, for that function to work? Do I just make a corpse stockpile in here and then 
then we're good to go? Or is there a piece of furniture? Like, do you need, like, an operating table or a morgue table or something? I'm just trying to chill bodies for organ extraction. I don't even know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I kind of want to try it. Instead of just burying all these people and not getting their organs, it feels like a waste. Dude, Brexio? First of all, Brexio has a wooden war mask on his head, um, but you need to know a little bit about Brexio. Alex, you missed it. You'll notice Brexio has got strange clothing on. That's because Brexio is a psychopath nudist. That's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and build uh, some lights. Oh, very tribal. Oh, wait, don't build lamps. We need steel. Don't build it. Never mind. I, I lied about that. Get the steel coming in first. Then we'll move on. I need that smelter to turn our steel game around. I think you can, the So, good. yes, good point. So let's go to zone, and then let's just say, you know, um, stockpile, like this, and then stockpile settings. What I want are um, not really, yeah, rotten is okay, I guess, but no food. Corpses, yes. None of this, 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 none of this. And I only want um, human corpses in here. There we go. This is the freezer, the meat locker. Ask no questions. Nothing strange going on here. All right. Did we get the... Oh, somebody's about to haul the steel back. We got it. 179. I can build it. Production. Smelter. Let's put the smelter... Um, I don't know if it needs to be inside or outside or where, but... Put it over here. It might want to be outside. Well, geez. Does it... Let's see. Um, the only terrain requirement is heavy. Mm, all right. Yeah, I don't want it to short out, but I also don't want it to make a bunch of smoke or something. Nah, that's fine. Put it right there. Bad temperature. What do you mean, bad temperature? What kind of temperature do you want? Oh, you want it to be hot or something? Or do you need it to be cool? How do I see? Oh, I see. It's going to heat up the room. It'll probably break our comms console. Well... We'll take a penalty. Whatever. We're new to the whole smelter game. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put a chair here. <laughs> a dining chair. Um, yep. Have a chair. Oh, I see. They won't like it because it's too hot. So, maybe I'll need to install an air conditioner then, at some point. But, nobody comes into this room. So, there's that. Oh, good. We're getting more steel. That's always fantastic. Alright. 
planting crops. There it is. Perfect. It's done. Um, bills. Add bill. Smelt metal from slag. Uh, do forever. Okay. And then now. Uh, oh, good call, Alex. I'll watch out for the heat stroke. I'm going to say um, all of these. Like haul it. All of these chunks. We're just going to turn them on hauling. And we're going to try to get them all. Get them all. Get them. Now, actually, here's a... I don't know if the how this works, but do I need to have my people haul them? Or if I turn on this bill for them to smelt metal from slag, will they just go out and pick these up on their own? Or do they need to be into a stockpile before they will use them in that way? I guess we'll find out. Yep, we're getting a lot of slag. This is going to really bump up our our game. Okay, cool. So as long as it's not forbidden or something, they'll pick it up. That's cool. Thank you. Awesome. So look at this, everybody. We are currently researching bionics. We're about halfway. We finished putting in our multi-analyzer, and we finished the research for fabrication. Um, which is tremendous. We also did hydroponics earlier. We have built this room over here. We we built this... Oh, this is a slag. Get that. We built this wooden bridge so that we could build a wall, and now this is walled off, and we built a slight wall around our water mill to protect it. So this is the only entry to the base for enemies that we have going on right now, which is tremendous. We have built a meat locker for human storage um, left of the water mill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Thank you. I see it. Perfect. Um, we were able to sell some resources with the comms console. We built our first solar generator. We built our first smelter. We're trying to use that to process slag. Um, and we gained Brexio, the psychopath nudist, but we lost Prissy due to a caravan mishap. We did, however, get another reinforced barrel that we could make another mortar with. We made this mortar here. It's the only one that we have uh, for defense. And we did make some shells also. I'm going to maybe add... Uh, we need to make the high explosive shell, but I don't know if we're missing some components we just need chem fuel yeah we don't have any of that so let me add some other bills for you like what do we want to make a chain shotgun i mean that sounds good heavy smg sounds good lmg sounds good a gas operated light machine gun all right nice um, so we can make some better weapons for our people. EMP grenades. I want make these. Uh, we have an EMP grenade launcher, which is why. I'm going to go ahead and pump out. An, uh, I'll, t I'll try a chain shotgun. And I'm going to make a... Uh, another... Uh, Assault rifle. Sweet. So we've got that going. Everyone is okay right now. We got a lot of animals happening. Food is really okay. Um, <laughs> Molotov gets rid of corpses. Yeah, you, you're right about that. And is anyone doing this job? Like, where does this fall? So the question would be, this is... Um, Let's see what work governs that. Is it... It's not craft. No, it is crafting. It's smelting. Okay, so... I want somebody to get high priority on that. And it might actually turn up to be... Uh, hmm. Who do I want to do that? I'll tell you what. Pete, you can do it, dude. I have you hauling all the time, but... Let's do this. 
Yeah, I don't... Weaves is like... The thing is, I want Weaves to make these guns. Like, he's making the grenades. He's, he's making the high-tech stuff because Weaves is actually good at crafting. Like, he has a 12 skill. Selvi has double passion for it. Oh, okay. Well, she can do it when she's not cleaning, I guess. Cleaning seems to take up all of her time. It's kind of nuts. It's a big base, though. It's a lot to clean. Oh, my God. We have a fire. Oh, no. Area revealed. Jump. Over here. Okay, where's the fire? Oh, of course. Where else would there be a fire? You know what I mean? Um, in, in the middle of my field. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I need everyone to... Let's see if this is our home area. Let's make sure orders, uh, zone, expand. It's in the home, so they should come take care of it. Hopefully the animals don't die. Run away from the fire, animals. People, what are you doing? Prioritize the fire. Are you crazy? Oh, she won't do it right. Um, what are you people doing? Put out the fire. It should be your number one thing. Work. Yeah, everybody's on firefight. Here, get on firefight. It is in the home area, so it, they should do it. Come on, people, go. Put out the fire. Stamp it out. Look at this horse. I mean, this baby horse is going to die from the flames. If you're not putting out the fire, you're not helping. All right, put it out this one, then. Just put out a different one. Get it. Or get this one, then. Hey, Mo, what is up, my friend? Good evening. Thank you for the tip. You you have to draft them and then undraft them just so they'll clear whatever they're doing. Good idea. Because they're just, like, not moving over to this fast enough. Put out the fire, people. Put it out. Get rid of this. All right. So we got some people coming to trade. That's cool. The baby horse died because of the flames. That's not cool. It's on fire right now. What a shame. All right, we got it. Fire's out. There we go. Okay, that's good. Oh, man, that's too bad. All right. Um, okay, everybody's doing that. So we found this new area, uh, but hopefully there's nothing nasty in there. We'll see. We're repairing the power line. Good. And once these visitors get closer... Yeah, well, I think um, I just didn't build them. Like, I think I could actually build the fire thing uh, wherever the, the fire foam popper. Is this what you're talking about? Like, I could build some of these, I guess. But I didn't install them. <laughs> oh, Alex. It is on the menu, isn't it? Horse meat? Aw. All right. Where did the visitors go? Are you guys here yet? Oh, Lance. Of course, my friend. You know what, Lance, though? If you were ever interested my let's play of this game on uh youtube goes back to the very first time i booted it up so you can see me start this exact group from the very first episode and play until now yeah i think you're right um alex i should i should relocate the wires now let me see where the visitor is here they are uh let's just trade with them see what they got Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay. So, what do we got? They have components. All right. Um, no, they don't have components. They've got meals. They've got some medicine, which, okay, that's fine. Yayo. Psychic drug. No, we don't want that. They do have reinforced barrels. Everybody seems to want to sell that. 
All right, well, if it's the only way to get the reinforced barrel, then maybe I have to buy it. All right, and I can sell them some of my statues. And then we can sell this one and this one. And then now we only owe them a little bit. And then we've got all this stuff that we can sell them. Like these bows and that bow. And uh, you can have like these poor pants. And this, these awful pants and these poor pants. Anything that's terrible. Buy it. Yeah, take it. Sweet. Except, yeah, you can have a little bit of extra cash. Great. So we got another reinforced barrel. So we have two now. Uh, if we want to build some more mortars or anything that takes those. So that's very good. I'm happy about that. I'm going to build some more sculptures to sell. Our power went way down because the grid got tapped. But it's, it's refilling now that the wire has been repaired. So... In so many ways, we're doing well. Uh, I want Pete... No, he's doing this. Aw, oh, man. Look at this. So, unfortunately, crafting governs both um, this and that. I think you can... I want this to be, like, higher priority... Is there, is there a way within this to, like, make this crafting job higher than the smelter? Because I what I want to do is be smelting. Maybe I'll just suspend this job for a moment. I like people cutting blocks, but I want him to, like, be smelting. Yeah, there you go. He's smelting it. Here we go. Now we're getting some steel. Awesome. I did up the crafting priority, but the problem is that, like, I, this job is crafting and this job is crafting, I think. Unless there's a way you can, like, individually affect that. Anyway. He's doing it now. All the slag. See, we hauled all the slag into here. And so now it's really, really easy for us to burn it. And we're back up to 350 steel. I kind of want to see how much he gets from each one that he burns down. All right. So 350 and... He's getting, like, 15 per... I don't know if your crafting skill affects how much you get when you burn it down or if it's just a random number. But we got, like, 15 steel from uh, melting down that chunk. And now we're doing much better on steel. So I'm excited about it. Well, everyone, our colony is uh, really, really doing well. And I'm excited about our progress. I know we're going to get annihilated soon. But for now, we seem to be... Uh, settling in. I want to thank you all so much for coming out to the stream tonight and playing some RimWorld. It's always so much fun. Uh, it is my bedtime, so I will say, everyone, I hope you have an excellent evening or day wherever you're at. Alex, Dylan, Lance, Will, Mo, Austin, Distro, Victory, the Patriots. Roddick. King Box. Feeple. Ging John. Chara. Everyone out there. 
take care. Have a great one. Have a good drive, Alex.